off round, I thought I'd see this record. You see what you scored? 50. Oh wow, that's actually pretty funny. I scored 50. Oh, are we going on free throw? Yeah. Buckets. Come on, Zay. <laughs> <laughs> You don't got that free throw. <laughs> That's two dubs. I already made it. I made. I shot first. All right, what's next? Here? I'm Joseph Gerard III. I'm from Glens Falls, New York, and I play for the Glens Falls Indians and uh, play AAU with the Albany City Rocks. You know, basketball's been changing over the years. Steph Curry's done a really good job of keeping the you know the shooters relevant and not going just to athletic guys. Um, in order to win now, a lot of teams it feels like you need shooters on your teams. Also with Jimmer Fredette being a great role model for me, he uh, went to the same high school as me in Glens Falls and uh, he, set the, he set the way for me. It's almost blasphemy to say anybody is on a faster track than Jimmer Fredette because you know, he's a legend in our area, but you know, 50 points a game is once in a generation, you know, it might be a once in a lifetime score, at least on the high school level. Up here is when I scored my 1,000th point in my freshman season. These are my 2,000th point. This is the ball that I got for becoming Section 2's all-time leading scorer. This was New York State's all-time leading scorer. This is the ball I uh, got for winning, scoring 3,000 points. My mom still got to figure out some spots to put all the balls now, but I'm gonna help her with that. This is a league, if you're on this team, you're a Division One player. The great thing about this for us is, I don't you know, by the end of the first two weeks, I think everyone already has an offer. If they don't, by the end of the first two weeks, everyone will have an offer. So that's over. We don't have to worry about that. This one's getting pretty full and heavy. So I got my first offer in eighth grade from High Point University. You know, ever since then, it's kind of, you know, taken off a little bit from there. It's kind of gotten pretty crazy in the bigger schools like, uh, you know, the Duke, Syracuse, uh, Michigan, Ohio State, Rutgers, Oklahoma, all those schools have you know, started offering, they offered me all in like one week it seemed. The process was really enjoyable before and uh, I was taking it as it was going, but right now it's starting to get more serious and you know, basically I just want to be able to win some championships. I've won a state championship in football here, I've won a few sectional championships in football and basketball, so wherever I go I want to be able to win conference championships and potentially national championships, you know, multiple times because uh, you, know, you really play the game to win and uh, I know people will tell you it's not all about winning, but at the same time it kind of is because you know you want to go out there and you know kind of be the best with the with the team that you're on and you know make sure that you're in the right style of play to you know potentially do that so these are all the shoes i've got these lebron nines the christmases these ones i've only worn once and that was to my duke visit my mom got me these for gatorade player of the year these are the gatorade sixes these are all the shoes that i've gotten from the ybl these are those uh Kyrie's that i got from the nike top 100 camp um they got the ybl on the back too uh these are jimmers actually Jimmer, if you're watching this, I'm gonna wear them one time. And these are just some shoes I haven't even worn yet. My mom's got me. My mom's pretty cool. She uh, she's all hip with the shoes and stuff. She she tries to stay upbeat with it. Okay, go. I think just you know the love for the game that I've had with uh, you know growing up with my parents is. Definitely something that you know I'll always remember. My dad was the girls coach here at Glens Falls. And uh, when I was about four, I started playing basketball. And he brought me to all of his practices. And I, I would bring my little hoop there to you know shoot on the little hoop and you know just start off with uh, you know that kind of stuff. From there on, it's, it's, it's been kind of crazy. And you know, I've just kept working hard at, you know, this is what I love to do and what I want to do as my job. Wow. Mom always wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let X, I'll let X. One more. Dunk Jake, dunk that Jake. Boom. Right back, right back. Come on, Patrick, you in. Come on, Patrick, you in. Good job, Patrick. Good shot. Good shot, boy. Let's go, Zay. Let's go, Zay. I got you, Micah. I got you, Micah. Right back, right back. Yo, drop, drop, drop. Drop side, drop side. Get back, Jake. Get back, Jake. I'm here. Zay switch, Zay switch, Zay switch. I'm here. I'm here. I got your help. I got your kick. Hey, hey. Come on, Zay. Come on, Zay. Let's go. Yeah, I've been a captain uh, for basketball since my freshman year. 
and I've been a captain for football since my sophomore year. You know, my first ever uh, varsity game, I scored 31 points and hit the game winning three at the buzzer. And uh, ever since then, you know, I've tried to be a leader for the team and, you know, just play my game. A lot of times I like to show by example, but at the same time, in order to be a complete leader, you have to show by voice as well and uh, be vocal because a lot of times if you show by example, sometimes kids might not be able to do the same thing as you. So you got to kind of lead them and guide them through it to, uh, you know, make sure that everybody's staying focused and staying on top of what they're supposed to be doing. Lefty? You got that in you? No, you, you, can go first. you can go first. Oh. <laughs> Woo! That's game. That's already over. Alright, I got something you can't do. Though. Dunk? I can dunk. Before he had something to prove to everybody and everyone like, oh, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Now that he's done it, from here on out, it's nothing but criticism. And it's he's got to completely get ready to have everybody say, oh, he's not that good. You know, I helped, played him. He only had 14. I had 18. Everyone out there is going to be gunning for him. They're going to think they're better than him. So I think he's going to see critical eyes upon him now. I mean, there's there's so stuff here and there that, you know, I will read and, uh, you know, if it's the hate, you know, it'll kind of feel my fire. And I, I do like to read it sometimes because at the same time, I, you just kind of have to laugh about it because, you know, people don't really know what what's going on or what you're going through. You know, I've heard, I've heard this a lot from a lot of people who have gone through what I've gone through. and. If, if your name's in your, their mouth, I mean, I guess you're doing pretty good. So that's something that I've always remembered and, uh, you know, I keep with me. But at the same time, I just have to stay focused on what I'm doing and not really pay attention to what the others are saying. You know who coaches play? They play people they can trust. They play people they can trust. You know, a true sign of a great player is he can take criticism, take coaching, and get better with it. My life motto would probably be, um, I don't really know, to be honest. I guess be the best you you can be. Wait, I saw on your Twitter it was be different. Oh shoot. <laughs> I guess my uh, my life motto would definitely be to you know be different and not follow the rest of the you know people. Uh, you want to stick out and be able to you know showcase your talents in the way that you want to do it. So basically, it's just to you know be different. <laughs>